Hi, Denise from Fleet and Family. Welcome to your bundle of joy, being a new parent. It's always exciting, right? Scary, nervous, exciting, all of the above. Well, we're gonna talk about a couple of things. What to expect, right? From zero to 12 months old, bonding with your baby, and changes in your family. Because you're not just lovers now, um, you actually have a baby, so you get to be parents on top of being new family, all right? All right, so newborns, they are gonna eat, cry, sleep, poop, all that good stuff. And their main com um, conversation with you is gonna be crying. They're gonna cry because they're wet. They're gonna cry because they're hungry. They're gonna cry just to cry. They're gonna cry because they're tired. So you gotta figure out which cry is for which different bodily function. Not always an easy thing to do. So if your baby was born while you were gone, you're gonna talk with your significant other and find out what each cry means. And then you're going to learn how to decipher each one on your own, okay? Um, you can't spoil a newborn. You're gonna to wanna to hug that newborn. You're gonna to wanna to get up in its face and kiss it all over. And you're gonna look at their toes and their fingertips. And you're gonna to sing to them. You're gonna to read to them. You are just gonna enjoy their company as best you can um, when the crying gets too much because they do cry a lot. Remember you wanna take and swaddle them nice and tight so that they can keep nice and warm and and feel comforted like they were inside the womb um, that's what swaddling does you can shush them you can talk to them you can sing to them if the crying gets to be too much you want to take the opportunity to put them down um, once you've fed them rock them um, change their diaper. You've done all of those things and they haven't worked. Make sure that you put the baby down, walk away, close the door if there's a door to be closed. Let them cry for a little bit. Sometimes they just need to cry themselves to sleep. If that doesn't help, call the neighbor. Call your parents. Call an old friend. Say, hey, this baby isn't crying. If that doesn't help, Go back in, pick up the baby. This time, it should be a little bit easier for them to stop crying. If that's still difficult, call and ask for help. All right, you can call 911. You can call 211. 211 actually have people on the line to be able to walk you through this. But call someone and get some help. Babies love physical contact. They want to have eye contact. They want to have physical contact, kisses and hugs. You want to read a book to them. You want to sing to them. You want to do all those things that you possibly could do. Now, one of the things that I highly suggest is that when the baby is sleeping, you sleep as well. Because if the baby's up in the middle of the night, you're up in the middle of the night. If the baby's going to nap during the middle of the day, you nap too. Those dishes will wait. Um, remember to sp spend some quality time as a family together. Even though the baby is an infant, it's still having those regular scheduled times to um, sit down and be a family is always very welcoming. It's good to have routines, keeping the routines up. If your baby was born while you were gone and, and they get up at six o'clock, the bottle gets made and they're fed by 6.15 and then they're down for a nap by eight o'clock and then back up for um, a diaper change and some feedings by 9.30. Keep all of that going. It makes it much easier for everyone once you do have those routines set and you keep them going. Um, by three to six months, they will remember some familiar objects. They'll be able to reach and grab for things. They will vocalize. Um, they can sit up with support and they show their emotions. They might get scared or they might be excited and they will start to show that. From six to nine months, they grow more um, 
acclimated to be able to sit up and crawl. Um, one of the things about crawling is they don't always crawl forwards first. They get up on all fours and then they go to move and they move backwards. Oftentimes they will roll from side to side to get where they need to be. They will chatter. They will pick up stuff on the floor. So anything that you think that is lying on the floor, you're like, oh my gosh, I should pick that up. And the baby's close by, odds are you are too late to think about it. <laughs> So make sure that you're cleaning up after yourselves, especially with stuff on the floor. Um, they become aware of others and the teething begins, the drooling. It makes it easier if you, oftentimes you have a bib around them because they will soak their pajamas or their outfit that they are in. From 9 to 12 months, they are crawling and sometimes even walking places. So you want to make sure that you've baby-proofed things. Um, they may say a few words, mum, 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 da, 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 ba, ba. Um, whatever age your child is at, oftentimes people are using baby sign language. And that's a nice way to start them communicating with you. Um, they have classes online, so you can always try those kinds of classes, but always communicating using verbal um, instructions, talking to the baby, they will eventually pick all of that up. So the more you talk to them, the better they'll get at it. But you also have to wait for their responses, okay? Um, maybe they answer with, you know, up, up, you know, pointing. Or maybe they say please if you're signing, but always use those words and try to help them mimic you. Um, also with this nine to 12 months, remember that they're imitating of course, but they are um, feeling happy and sad and mad and you can identify those feelings when they show that. Maybe they're scowling or maybe they're showing a smile. You can say, are you happy today? Are you mad today? Um, bonding with your baby is going to take time, especially if you weren't there when the baby was born. Um, perhaps you have done United Through Reading and you have utilized the opportunity to read a book to them and send the DVD home so that they could hear your voice. And once they're, they start, um, recognizing by watching the DVD and seeing your face. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, again, talk with your significant other. See how the baby's doing, what kinds of things are working and not working. Because you are another person, the baby's going to adjust to you a little bit different than what your significant other is used to. Be patient with one another. Be patient with the baby. Yeah, it's such a joyful time. Um, you are the baby's everything, so do what you can to make life easier for the both of you and for your significant other. If one is doing the dishes, maybe the other one could be giving the baby a bottle. Or maybe one is giving the baby a bath and the other one is helping out too. Who knows? Whatever works for you guys, um, just enjoy your time together. Again, I want to reiterate, if you are having a difficult time and the baby is not a bundle of joy because, you know, the colic and just crying and you can't get anything done, walk away. Ask for help. Call new parent support. Um, call 911. Call someone who knows how to deal with um, a colicky baby. We don't want to have any shaken baby syndrome. All right, do what you can. Remember, if you do feel frustrated, walk away. It's okay. Remember that you need to have a family care plan in place. It Once this, you have the baby, you have 60 days to get that up to date. I know things are a little bit tight right now because of the coronavirus, but this is the time for you to be able to sit with your significant other and figure out a plan of attack. If you are single military or dual military, you have to have this in place. Some key resources is, of course, Fleet and Family. And we do have some parenting classes that you can take. Maybe they'll be online right now. You can also call for new parent support and ask for their advice. 
There's the Red Cross and WIC program, Military Outreach Ministries, United Through Reading, 211, Navy Legal Services. You want to get in touch with TRICARE and Dental, your Command Financial Specialist if you need help monetarily to get your finances and budgeting for baby. There's the FOCUS program, of course, Military One Source and Fleet and Family. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call 866-923-6478. Thank you and congratulations.